Hey everybody, welcome to Killer Frequency. Uh, this game kind of just starts as soon as you go in and there's a lot of dialogue. So I had to do the intro right now. I also have to record this doing display capture, which is really weird. Uh, basically we play as a, like a late night radio show host that has some spooky shit happening. Let's go. Also, my face cam is super small, so I don't cover the subtitles. Uh, well, that was Roddy Snatcher with his hit, I'll Always Find You. They sure don't make them like they used to, folks. Thank the Lord for small mercy. We're now in the midnight hour. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. We're going to take a quick break here. I'll be back taking your calls after we get the news. Charming as always, Forrest. Now hit the channel for the news on the radio desk. Let's bring our listeners up to speed with what's happening out there. Yeah, see, there's a lot of dialogue. Uh, and also, uh, I straight up saw my friend John Wolf play this, and just from the tweet... Forrest, hit the news button on the radio desk already. Just from the tweet he sent out describing this game, I knew I wanted to play it. So thanks, thanks to him, I know about this game. Anyways. Boop. The local news for the town of Gallows Creek is brought to you by Fanny's Firearms. With a wide range of small caliber handguns, I like all this we music. put the pop in moment pop. My goodness. <laughs> Tonight we bring you the shocking revelation that a convicted maniac is on the loose. Having escaped from the local penitentiary, the local sheriff, who is just weeks from retirement, has urged the public to follow his example. By staying inside and locking their doors. <laughs> the killer prowls our streets tonight, listeners. Stay safe. Stay inside. I'll have more on the hour. Killer Frequency. <laughs> this is great. 189.16. Our switchboard is on fire. Is it? I've never seen this many incoming calls. All right, you're up. Press the mic button on the radio desk. Uh, okay. I'm Mike. <laughs> well, that was a local bulletin breaking the story that some nutbags on the loose. Hey, maybe they're a fan of the show. <laughs> uh, we well, you know who our listeners are. Both of them. Anyways, time <laughs> to take our first call of the night. Oh, what a douche. Good. Now, take a call by pressing one of the lit buttons on the switchboard. Cool. Line one, you're on. Caller, you're live on 18916 The Scream, talking to me, Forrest Nash. What do you want to say tonight? Yeah, I, uh, I was just listening to your show. I'm uh, studying at the library ahead of my exams. There's this, like, majorly creepy guy who keeps walking past the window and looking in at me. Uh-oh. Uh, call the police, stupid. Uh, this is not our area of expertise, ma'am. Call the professionals. No, I tried calling the sheriff's office. Nobody is picking up. Listen, I am seriously freaking out here. My little brother is in the hospital. I need to get there and make sure he's safe. I'll be safe there, too. They have security guards. Oh, she sounds really scared. We need to help this girl. Uh, okay. So, okay, so we're trying to make sure that these people don't die. Let's say hide somewhere. Maybe there's somewhere nearby you can hide. Oh my god, did you hear that? Look, I need help finding the hospital. And my mind is all over the place. I need directions. I think there's another phone near the library's entrance. Cute. I like this. I like this. Okay. Folks, you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Oh, I'm going to play a record for you Boop. now, and when we return, we can get back to our caller on the line. Stay tuned. We have a killer show lined up. Keep up with the wisecracks, and we'll have more than one murder on air tonight. Oh, now, my go goodness. go to the music, and then see if you can find a way to help this girl. 
Uh, she said she was at the library and needed to get. Oh, I can walk around the office now. Cool. I was coming out of the library. Map shows the whole. Which map. way would I go? All right, so. Well, when you're ready to take another call. This way. Sit back at your desk. So we need to tell her to take a a left down, Chokesville. There's Kill Kenny. Goodness, 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 goodness. All right, uh, let's see. What else is over here? Road closures October. Uh, Good to know if you're driving. Cool. This is Bob's locker. It's locked. Ooh. Okay, what else we got? Some lights. Okay. Bob's birthdays are coming up. That poor guy is always in and out of the hospital. 1010. This is Bob's locker. It's locked. Hey, there we go. Huh. There's some information about the hospital on the card. Oh, main interest is locked after midnight. In case of emergency, ring buzzer for the night porter. Okay, so, okay, so now I know that the uh, hospital's main entrance is locked this late. Okay. We have a caller on the line. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. Okay, boop. We're back and ready to take Let's see if we can help. Call. Let's go to the phones and see who we have on the line. Hey, it's me. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, you can take a left. Get outside and turn left. Go. Okay. I'm gonna make a break for the hospital. I have this bad feeling that they lock the doors after midnight. I already did that but puzzle. Maybe I'll find another way in. If I make it, I'll call you. Oh. 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 <laughs> You're still listening to 189.16 The Scream, keeping you safe from crazed psychopaths and bringing you the old timey hits. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. Okay, so now, uh, music. She said she didn't think she'd be nope. able to get into the hospital. Hmm. Surely there's another way in. Yeah, so I did that I puzzle. Think I've seen That's good to know. That somewhere. This map well, shows the to whole town. Call, sit back at your desk. Key? Let's hope she calls back. What, what's this key for? Uh, this door? It's locked. I bet the oh, key's okay. around here somewhere. Yeah, let's go get that key. I bet this is like for a different puzzle though. Uh, and sorry th about the mouse on the screen. Since I have to record this with display capture. Uh, that's gonna get picked up. There we go. Okay, uh, flip switch in correct order, please. What? I bet this would tell me which order to flip the switches in. If only I could read foreign. Yeah, if only I could read foreign. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's go ahead and jump down and take her call again. So now she should be at this corner, so you can tell her to take a right, and then a right, wait, no, hold on. So he has to go around back, right? Huh, there's some information about okay, so, the hospital uh, Ring buzzer for Night Porter, okay. So it didn't say to go around back or anything, so should be fine. Let's go ahead and jump in the chair and help her out. We have a caller on the line. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. We're back for our next thrilling installment. <laughs> Let's find out who we have on the line. Hello? I'm, uh, I'm at the payphone just outside the hospital. Uh oh. He followed me here. I can't get in. The doors are locked. There's nobody on the desk. Uh oh. Please. He's coming. Please tell me what to do. Okay, uh. Ring the buzzer. Okay, listen to me. I know this sounds crazy, but keep calm and ring the buzzer. There should be a night porter there who can let you in. Oh, good.
Ha <laughs> ha, sounds like she made it. Good for her. Word out to my boss. If you're listening, pal, that is how you keep an audience I was trying alive. to figure out what happened in the... This is 189.16, The Scream. Great conversations, great tunes, great escapes. Amazing job. I think our show just came off life support. Oh. Huh. First, we have another caller on the line. Okay. Let's go lane two. Caller, you're through to me, Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. It's past midnight. What would you like to talk about? Hello, sir. I'm the general manager at the town's radio shed. We only sell the best audio-visual equipment. I'm doing a little bit of late-night stock-taking, and of course, our radios are always tuned to your show. And, well, that news report had me just a, just a little bit of perturb, I could say. Uh... You're safe inside? Or go home? Let's go, go Man, home. Man, you are working late. Sounds like it's time to close up and go on home. Ah, uh, yes, well, uh, the thing is, uh, there's a rather large uh, person who has been pounding on the door. And I'm going to go after <laughs> Now, I've turned off all the lights and I'm hiding behind the counter. But every time I make a sound, uh, <laughs> he starts breaking down my door. And uh, it's almost like he's attracted to noise, I would say. Radio Shed is like the only place in town that sells radios. We need to help this guy. Uh. What items are nearby? What can you see around you? What kind of things can you reach? Is there anything you can use? So let's see. Uh, I'm under the counter near the door. There's a stack of uh, TVs right next to the counter. There's also the tape decks on the aisle behind me, I think. Hmm. The radios are right in the back of the store. Oh, oh, and uh, there's a server bell on top of the counter. He's going to be inside any minute now. Uh, yeah. You have any bright ideas? Uh oh. No, dude, I don't. Uh. Ring that bell. Ring that service bell. Somebody might come to your rescue. Ah. What? Oh, uh, hello, sir. Uh, may I interest you in one of our loyalty cards? Uh oh. I can uh, slash the price of anything in the store for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Just great. The only store in town that sells radios, and we are supposed to be growing our audience. A man yeah. just died. Uh, please bear with us, listeners. It seems we're uh, experiencing a few technical difficulties tonight. Oh, and uh, if you were thinking of picking up a new TV or radio, I believe Radio Shed will be closed temporarily. Okay, our listeners are counting on us tonight. Let's both try Oof. and keep it together. That sucks. Take a breath. Oops. And when you're ready, take the next call. Sure. Caller, you're live on air. Now, I know things are a little crazy out there tonight, so just let me say I hope you're calling from somewhere safe. Anyway, what do you want to talk about? Hey, buddy. Uh. You out of breath? You sound a little out of breath there. Let me tell you, it's not exactly the best night to be out jogging. I know who you've been trying to help them. I can't let you do that anymore. <laughs> that, that sounds like the villain I'm from Inspector you, Gadget. Buddy. still on air? No, I think he tried to cut the power, but it looks like he just tripped a fuse or something. <laughs> Probably did more harm to himself than us. You know, when people told me local radio was where you go to die, I thought they were just talking about my career. But anyway, <laughs> let's at least try and get the lights back on. Well, how do we do that? I'm your friendly neighborhood radio personality, not your local electrician. There's a circuit breaker in the storage I'm cupboard. looking right at it. The door to it may be locked, but the keys are with you in the studio somewhere. Uh, okay. So... I'm gonna say... Three... One... Four, two. Good job, Mr. Nash. Talk show host, 
emergency responder, handyman. Now it's time to get back on air and see if we have any listeners left. Okay. Shall I barricade the door or something? <laughs> okay, he's being awfully like glib All with his right. life. We're back up and running. And hey, look at that. Somebody's waiting on the line. Well, oh, good. But isn't that creep again? I hope Just it is. Treat it like any other call. Whenever you're ready, Forrest. Okay. Uh, you're tuned to 189.16 The Scream. You're live on air. What are we talking about tonight? Hey there, I was just driving down Kilkenny Avenue, heading towards the Coast House Highway, making my way home after a successful visit to the big Betamax sales conference they have one town over. Anyway, as I'm driving, I noticed that the tank is completely empty. Thankfully, I see a sign for gas. I pull in, roll to a stop, but why do you know? There's nobody around. Not a soul in sight. So I guess I'm stuck here. I guess so. Yeah, what's... <laughs> Be careful out hey, there. have you been listening? Haven't you heard the news? There's a bad guy walking around out there tonight. It's not safe outside. Buddy, please. I just need to get home. I've already tried calling every number I know. you also so easy to remember. That jingle is... Please don't say the jingle. Ooh. I think you should help him, especially with that creep prowling around out there. And who turns down a sweet deal on a new VCR, right? That's true. Okay, uh, what can you see? Uh, okay, then. Tell me, what can you see around you? Well, let's see. I'm outside the gas station on the corner. To my left, I can see a park with a weird-looking guy sort of staring at me. Hey, pal, take a walk. Further down Kilkenny Avenue, there's a row of four houses. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the residents can help me. All right, that's where I'm headed. When I get closer, I'll call you back. Remember, somehow I need to get gas for my car. Helping stranded out-of-town salespeople is not part of our regular programming, but we like to do all we can to please our listeners. I'm going to play something for you right now. Stay tuned. So Okay, hit the music button on the radio desk. Then let's think about how we can help this guy. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, how can I help him get gas? Let's see. He needs to somehow get gas for his car. He was heading down Kilkenny Avenue towards the row of houses. Can someone inside one of those houses help, perhaps? Which one? Hmm. When you're ready to take another call, sit back at your desk. This I is the telephone from that guy in the, the town. Park. That did not sound good. Let's hope he calls back. This is the telephone directory from the town. So here are the four houses. Mr. Abel, J. Oh, Carpenter, John Carpenter. Lori Strode. It's like, how am I supposed to know which one of these? I would say Lori Strode. So I, let's, send her to, let's send him to house two. Yeah, Lori Strode's a badass. She's the she's the final girl from Halloween. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. Okay. Welcome back, listeners. Looks like we have someone waiting on the line. Let's find out what they want to talk about tonight. Hey, friend, let's make this quick. You don't get much time on these newfangled cellular phones. Okay, I'm on Kilkenny. I'm stood in front of the four houses. Hey, buddy, I told you. <laughs> Uh, I would say go to house four, because Lori Strode. Go to number four. Check if the owner's at home. Well, thanks, partner. I'll do that. Guess you know these folks pretty well, huh? You being part of the community and all. Uh, are you still following me? Hello? Doesn't seem like there's anybody at home. Ah, oh, jeez. This guy again. Listen, buddy, I... <laughs> So how was I supposed to know? Is it just like a random guess? Or was there a phone somewhere? Note to self. Do not take advice from radio talk show hosts. God damn it. <laughs> there goes my discount on the video cassette recorder. Ah, heck. Thing would probably be obsolete in a few years time anyhow. Sorry I couldn't get you home, friend. Alright. What else does the night have in Oops. store for us? Okay, 
Okay, show's over. Time to wrap it up. It's 1 a.m. We are out of callers, <clears throat> and we're out of time. It's now 1 a.m. in our sleepy little town. We made it. We made it through the witching hour, folks. You've been tuned to 189.16, The Scream, and you've been listening to me, Forrest Nash. I want to say thank you to all our callers tonight and to all our listeners. Pleasant dreams and good night. You hear that? I think I hear sirens. Finally, someone's coming to the rescue. I say give it a few minutes and we'll be safe to leave. Uh... Grab a drink? Oh, man, do I need a drink. Say, you want to join me? Mm, Sure. Whatever you want to do. Oh, my lord, what a night. I can't believe that just happened. Forrest? No! (laughs) Shit. Okay. Uh, Dang it. I want to get, like, a full clear. So let's do that again. This is fun. I think this is really cute. And the voice acting is really good. Cool. I'm gonna try that again. Is it me? I think it might be the guy from the <laughs> <laughs> Uh this is not our He's gonna be inside any minute now, uh yeah. You have any bright ideas? I'm gonna say turn on the radio. Hey, switch on one of those radios at the back of the store. I have an idea. Yeah. Your station. Over to you. Okay, Forrest. Now call the creep over. Uh. <laughs> I can totally sell him out. Check under the counter. Psst, over here. Psst. Hey, over here. Hey, I have really good stuff here at the back. Ha! It worked. And uh, I'm gonna make a rip for it now. Got him. Okay. Got him. Our listeners are counting on us tonight. Let's both try and keep it together. Take a breath, and when you're ready, take the next call. Cool. Let's jump to the last one. Caller, you're... He calls back. Hey, so I'm on the last one. <clears throat> and so Carpenter and Strode are horror movie references. I'm not sure what Jackson is. But also there's Mr. A. Bell. So does that mean he's able to help? This is the telephone director. House the three. Town. All right, so I'm telling him to go to house three this time. Let's see if that one's the correct one. We have a caller on the line. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. Oh, right. Welcome back, listeners. Looks like we have someone waiting on the line. Let's find out what they want to talk about tonight. Hey, Fran, let's make this quick. You don't get much time on these newfangled cellular phones. Okay, I'm on kill cam. Uh huh. Hey, buddy, I told you, back off. <laughs> Man, weirdo, fool me all the way in. All right, any yeah. idea what I should do? Try house three, bro. Mr. Abel should be able Locked to help. Knock on the door, number three. I believe the guy who runs the gas station lives there. Ah. Hey, oh, hey. really? Well, I'll show up. He's home. Oh, God, still following me. Huh? Hey, the lights are on. I can see somebody at the window. And that creep seems to disappear. Hey! Hey, buddy, I need to use your gas station. Well, darn, he just threw the keys right at me. Turn the lights Uh-oh. off again. Okay, you've got what you needed. Now head back to the gas station. And if I were you, I'd stick to the main road and keep an eye out for that weirdo. Well, speaking of main roads, I walked all the way down Kilcanny Avenue. Uh-oh. Oh, Okay. Be a sport. Give me directions. Ah, oh, shoot. My cell battery's almost gone. Shit. Remember, okay. friend, a sweet deal on a video cassette recorder. I'll oh, wow. You back. Oh, well, boy. Hey, this is not tourist information, friend. Sweet deal my ass. I don't even own a TV. Despite what you're hearing, I assure you this is the area's only late night radio phone in. We'll be back after some more music. All right. Is it the gas station? He wants to get to the Coast House Highway. He said the first crossroads he'll come to is Kilkenny and Woodlands. Okay, so he's right. Let's see. He's right here. Who's that guy? Hey, maybe he'll run into 
to that creep and we won't have to deal with him. Wow. Jeez, what am I saying? Sit back at your desk when you want to take the next call. Let's see, Kilkenny, uh... These are road closures. So Kilkenny uh, Avenue West is closed. Woodlands Road North is closed towards the salt pits. Here, let's pick this up. Maybe I can aim it. Hold on, hold on. I can do this. I can do this. There we go. Okay, there we go. So there's the salt pits up there. So it's closed north. So I'm going to have to have go south to Myers. Shit. Is that right? Hold on. Is that, okay, so he's here. So I need to take him. Kilkenny West is closed. Woodlands Road North is closed towards the salt pits. Woodland Road South is also closed. Towards out of town. So I need I need to just have him take all the Myers all the way. Okay. Let's give him to Myers. We have a caller on the line. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. Okay. Boop. Okay, listeners, we're back. And hey, look, someone's trying to get through. Oh, boy, I wonder who it could be. Can <laughs> we find out? Hey, you picked up. I knew you would. You know, you have a very trustworthy voice. Anyway, I got the car gassed up, and I'm on my way. All right, I'm sitting at Kilcanny and Woodlands. Which way do I turn? Uh, Kilkenny and Woodland, you make a left. You want to take a left. Right you are. Okay, now I'm at another crossroads. This one is Mars and Woodland. Y'all still there? Which way do I go? Uh, take a right. Okay, so at the crossroads, you want to take a right. Hey. Thanks, pal. You're a real lifesaver. So long, Gallows Creek. Maybe I'll skip the conference next year. Bye, friends. Hey, you ever in the market for a nice new VCR? You call me, okay? Nice work, Forrest. Hey, I did it. Well, how about that, listeners? Not your usual type of caller, but happy ending nonetheless. Yeah. A traveling home entertainment salesman, huh? Well, we all want escapism, right? Especially when it means an escape from certain death. Okay, what do we have next? Is that it? Okay, show's over. Sweet. Time to wrap it up. It's 1 a.m., we are out of callers, and we're out of time. It's now 1 a.m. in our sleepy little town. We made it. I did it. We made it through the witching hour, folks. I want to see if she dies you've again. You've been tuned to 189.16, The Scream, and you've been listening to me, Forrest Nash. I want to say thank you to all our callers tonight, and to all our listeners. Pleasant dreams and good night. You hear that? I think I hear sirens. Finally, someone's coming to the rescue. I say give it a few minutes and we'll be safe to leave. Um, amen to that. Amen to that. What a night, huh? We should get out of here. Mm, sure, whatever you want to do. Oh my lord, what a night. Okay. I can't believe that just happened. Forest. All right. So that was killer frequency. Boom. That's three out of three callers survived. I was hoping I could save my producer lady, but I guess no matter what, she uh doesn't make the cut. This was a lot of fun. This was a great idea too. I really enjoyed this. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. You have a recommendation for games I should play? Let me know. Yeah. Cool. Bye.